Taylor talking to dad. He shouldn't be talking to Taylor this Swift. Is a, <laughs> this is a terrifying conversation. The love story between Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey is playing out before our eyes. And even though they are still tight-lipped about what their official status is, we are at least getting hints from people closest to them. Enter Ed Kelsey, Travis's dad. He is singing Taylor Swift's praises as his son continues his romance with the superstar songstress. In his first interview since Travis and Taylor went public with their budding relationship, Ed tells people that the karma singer is a very, very sweet, very charming, down-to-earth young woman. Ed, who was seen chatting with Swift in a suite at Arrowhead Stadium on October 12th, says his initial impression that Swift is very genuine and was proven right upon his first meeting with the singer, he had a chance to have an upfront, clear perspective of Taylor. I'll tell you something very special that I noticed about Taylor the first time I met her, Ed shares. We're sitting in the suite, she gets up, and in the front room, she gets up to go get a drink or something, and she starts picking up empty bottles, cans, plates that are scattered around. Because in the suites, everybody gets stuff and you empty it down wherever you can. Ed continues, and I'm just thinking, I don't think she got the diva memo. She didn't get the spoiled musician. She doesn't know how to pull that off. And that really, to me, said a whole lot. Travis Kelsey's dad, Ed, is gushing over Taylor Swift. Ed Kelsey did an interview with People Magazine. He says that Taylor Swift is a very sweet, very charming, down-to-earth young woman. I'm getting all giddy inside. Notice how we have never gotten any interaction about Taylor Swift that was negative. Anytime I hear a story about somebody meeting Taylor Swift, it's just the best experience. So this is honestly not surprising to me. Some might say, who cares? She picked up a few bottles and cans. But it really shows her true character because she has every right to be a diva. and she not. The father of two, his older son Jason, plays for the Philadelphia Eagles, adds, she's very smart. I mean, very smart. That comes through right away. Do you think they're a good match? I think they are two very, very driven professional individuals. I think they're very supportive of each other, which is key. Hey, How you doing? Going? I think they're a wonderful couple. And Swift has now hung out with both of Travis's parents. At the first game of his she attended on September 24th, the pop superstar sat next to mom Donna and was seen chatting and cheering with the NFL supermom. A week later, on October 1st, Swift was spotted with her arm around Donna in a suite at the Kansas City Chiefs game against the New York Jets at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. On Sunday, Swift attended her fourth Chiefs game to support the NFL star, and the new couple held hands as they left Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City following the Chiefs' 31-17 victory over the Los Angeles Chargers. Swift was also spotted wearing a gold friendship bracelet with Kelsey's number 87 on her wrist while watching the game from the Mahomes suite alongside Brittany Mahomes, the wife of Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes. The Grammy winner and her bow matched in red. With the pop star showing her team spirit in a vintage 1990 USA Kansas City Chiefs sweatshirt. And just recently, we have Travis's brother, Jason Kelsey, also opening up about how he feels about the whirlwind romance and the media storm that has come from it. Jason is a big supporter of his brother's love story with Taylor Swift, but admits the public interest in the new couple is a lot. As he told NBC Sports in an interview, this is another level of stardom that typically football players don't deal with, he added. But he also added that he does have alarm bells possibly ringing, because at the end of the day, safety is a priority amongst the whole world going stir crazy over Taylor and Travis's relationship. On Monday, Jason mentioned Swift again, this time on the Today Show. The center appeared on the show with fellow Eagles linemen, Lane Johnson and Jordan Mailata to talk about their second Christmas album, a now annual charity project while discussing the record, which features a Patti LaBelle duet, Kelsey shared that he would not be opposed to a swift appearance on the Holiday album next year. Maybe not this one, not this time around, Jason said after Today co-host Chanel Jones asked about the possibility of a Holiday collaboration with the Midnight Songstress. That would be pretty incredible, he added, maybe in the future. Is singing with Taylor Swift? <laughs> Yeah, maybe not this one, not this time. Around. Raising money for charity, you could break the internet with that, that duet. Would, that would be pretty incredible, but. Maybe volume three. Yeah, maybe, maybe in the future. But hold on, there's more because now we have another insider information on how this summer romance is turning out. 
the source told people there's not some looming date like, oh, she's going back on tour and his football schedule is getting crazy. They'll figure it out. Travis said it himself. He knows what he signed up for with this attention, but they've spent time under the radar too. They're giving things a real try. On Sunday, Travis and the Kansas City Chiefs won their fourth game with the Midnight Singer in attendance, prompting head coach Andy Reid to praise the pop star's seemingly positive influence. Kelsey is getting better with time, Reid said during a press conference shared on social media, adding, Taylor can stay around all she wants. Kelsey keeps getting better with time. Um, um, Taylor can stay around all she wants. Um, <clears throat> Reed, who used to coach the Philadelphia Eagles, both Jason's team and Swift's hometown team, talked about knowing the pop star's dad. I knew her from Philadelphia. Her dad was a big NFL fan, so I had met her when she was real young. And her dad, he explained before jokingly taking credit for orchestrating the internet's favorite new romance. I joked about setting Kelsey up and, you know, I'm just saying, the Chiefs head coach said. He added, she's a good girl, she's into it, we're glad she's here. It seems everyone wants to lay claim to setting these two up. First it was Aaron Andrews, now we got Andy Reid. It's nice to see people having fun with this attention circus. The couple's overt displays of affection are a notable change of pace for the notoriously private pop singer, who even posed for loved up snaps on Instagram after Sunday night's game. In the photo, you can see her affectionately reaching up to kiss her tall boyfriend while placing her hand intimately on his chest. In the past, Taylor has been much more reserved, but that may not have been due to her choosing to do so. And this is the version of Taylor with Travis showing off all the PDA may actually be her authentic true self, because each week she's displaying a feeling of comfort about it all. It even looks like she's been waiting a lifetime for something or someone to cheer about. Enter Travis Kelsey, and it's just so fitting that he's a pro athlete, so Taylor cheering him on looks and feels right for her. The pop star and Super Bowl champs' whirlwind romance has dominated headlines in recent weeks, with Taylor's appearances at several Chiefs games garnering worldwide attention, and it seems each week we are treated to a host of new goodies to chew on from these two. So we're hearing more and more inside people coming out to open up about what their take is on the couple's relationship, but what do you guys think? Are you cheering on Taylor and Travis and are you enjoying the ride so far? It's exciting to see where this leads to and what's coming up next for them. Anyways, let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and check out one of these videos.